SPCA Tampa Bay just hit a major milestone, more than 3,000 adoptions last year, and we have started, they have started a new program as well. Joining us today is Martha Bowden, CEO at SPCA Tampa Bay, and she brought Toby along. Hi, Martha. Hi, Toby. He's Hi. so cute. <laughs> First of all, congratulations on this huge milestone. That's a, quite a big number. Well, that reflects this community's love of animals, mm -hmm. really. We couldn't do it without everybody coming in and saying, this is who I want to make a part of my family. That's right. And you know, Toby is adoptable. He's also yes. part of of the Foster to Adopt program. Yes, yes, so we started this program right at the end of last year and it's a wonderful opportunity if you're interested in a pet that's mm -hmm. available for adoption but you're not quite sure if it's the perfect fit and you want to take them home as a foster rather than an adoption, we'll support you through that whole process and then if at the end of that period you say, yep, this is the right one, mm -hmm. you just complete the adoption. If it isn't quite the right match, that's perfectly fine. We learn a lot of information about yeah. the pet while he's in your home and that helps us place him in the next spot. That's great back then when yeah. it comes to, you know, keeping them as a foster parent at the moment. Yep. How how long does it usually take before you know you guys decide okay this is going to be my pet forever? I think for most people it can take two weeks to a month. Typically okay. a foster to adopt program doesn't run longer than mm -hmm. a month but we have 22 pets that have um, gone into foster and over nine adoptions have happened already so and a couple right. more on the way so it's it's going really well. And you're a foster mom for Toby. How's he doing? He's doing well. Yeah. He, he actually came to us about 10 years ago as oh, a two-year-old wow. dog and was adopted and then sadly his mom passed away. Oh my and goodness. And so he came back to us about a, three weeks ago and unfortunately he had um, some kennel cough and he had some other issues and stuff like that so he's been living with my husband and me now for a couple weeks and he's getting healthier by the day he's got a little more work to do he needs some dental work and put on a little bit of weight but he'll be up for adoption mm -hmm. soon but that's something that you guys also take care of at SBCA Tampa Bay if there's any issues immediately you would take care of that before people come and adopt them right we do we do we work on all sorts of different issues whether it's respiratory issues or dental mm -hmm. issues skin issues of course spaying and neutering um, and we work with the community as well sometimes the best thing to do is get an animal in a home. That's part of the reason the Foster right. to Adopt program is so helpful. So if we can get an animal into a home, even if he's got a minor you know, infection or something like mm -hmm. that, that can really help the animal heal more quickly. You know, one pet that is ready to go home, and he's been there for quite some time. We want to give a shout out to Bugs. He's a cute bunny. Yes. And he's part of the Pocket Pet program. That's right. Well done. Well done. <laughs> I, I always say it backwards. I'm glad I said that, I said that the right That's way right. this time. <laughs> yes. So we have been promoting uh, Pocket uh. Pet adoptions now since before Christmas. And we're anxious to see more of them go home, like Bugs, who's been with us since the summer. Um, so the adoption fees are waived on all of our hamsters and rabbits and guinea pigs and birds, all of the small animals. We'd love to see them get into homes. They are so cute. I'm yep. so glad that you guys take care of pocket pets for that reason and then, yep. you know, give them to forever homes. We also want to encourage people that want to raise money for the community for homeless animals and pocket pets as well. You have the pet walk coming up this spring. That's right. So it's time to years, register. I think, yes, it's time oh to goodness. register. Go to petwalk.org, get your page started, do your fundraising, reach out to friends and families and tell family members, tell them how much you care about homeless animals. And then we get together and celebrate on April 15th. And we have two locations this year. Oh, North Stroud Park in St. Pete mm -hmm. and OCC Roadhouse and Museum in Clearwater. Wow. So two places to celebrate. So both places on April 15th, the yep. same day? Same day, yep. yep. Okay, yep. and then people so can sign up right now. Sign up right now, start fundraising now because we've got lots of animals to take care of like Toby. And it takes us about $35 a day per animal. Wow. And with so 20 new animals coming mm -hmm. in every day, that's a big number. All right. I want to see that number go up, of course, and you want to help. You have all the information on your screen. Thank you, Martha. And thank, thank you, Toby. You. I hope you do find a forever home, Toby. And of course, we want to thank our sponsor, Pet Supermarket. Whether your pets swim, crawl, or pets to ball, Pet Supermarket has your favorite brand.